I pray, pray. Today I'm playing a new game. It's a fan made dizzy game from um, the York Folk site called simply Adventure of Dizzy Part 1. So let's get on with it. I... It's quite a simple, bare bones dizzy game. Dizzy. So let's get started. Dizzy. Oh my head, what are you eating yesterday, Bray Bray? See, this was made by a, by a non-English speaking person, so that explains the, the way that the dialogue's written, folks. And where my Uncle Tom, Bray Bray? I must find him, Bray Bray. So this is presumably Uncle Tom on the floor, and curiously enough we can stand on his head since he appears to be partially buried and embedded into the ground, so, easy, so it's rather easy to step on his head. Uncle Tom, let's see, please, safe, safely. I need heal potion, boy, boy. Find it, please, boy, boy. Uncle, Uncle Tom needs heal potion, boy, boy. And we don't have anything or any healing potion at the moment, so by all means, let us have a walk around the place, eh? And it's at a pier here we have a crystal which shall be one of the in-game collectibles, I would imagine. Curiously, they call it a coin doll, but I digress, baby dolls. And as you can see, Dizzy has a different sound rather than the squeak we made in the previous games when he was jumping around. Sounds somewhat more deeper. But still cute still. And here we have what the game will presumably call another coin. By the way, do these screens actually have names? Yeah, it seems like this one just doesn't, which seems like a mountain range in the background, eh? And uh, another of the game's so-called coins here, apparently. Starting to get clouds in the sky too. The day on the previous screen. A bit, yes. So let's press on and see what else we find eh, in these adventurous games. A rat, eh? But from what I remember, folks, this rat won't actually hurt us. So let's engage him in con conversation, eh? Rat. Hey, Dizzy Prey Prey, my name is Rat Prey Prey, a highly original name, you understand, but I like to think I endear myself in ways such, so do I don't need a fancy elaborate name, Prey Prey. If you give me 13 coins, I if you go keep Bray Bray. That sounds like a most expensive key. But, um, yes, um, I'll see if I can rustle up those so called coins for you anyway, Bray Bray Rats. So, yes, I'll be heading off then. Wow, an underground tree. This is quite a curious phenomenon indeed, isn't it, baby dolls? In addition to this underground cloud as well, and the underground go crash, you guess here too. Amazing, who would have thought such things were possible, eh, folks? And we're on a rope now, it's at a pier, and another crystal coin type thing. What? 
you have all the coins, but don't need 13 of them to give to the rat. Uh, well now, if, it, if this isn't foreboding, I don't know what is. An underground graveyard? And it's up here, we have Dozy here, who we can walk all over. As he sits in his deck chair. Dozy, yes, but the game is just calling him Dizzy Brother, it would seem. Not a solitary brother, but a dizzy brother. Play, play. I'll talk to him now, I'm standing on his face. Dizzy brother. Play, play. Dizzy. Ooh. Is this some kind of a chair of a conspiracy theory, a theory I'm encountering here. I mean, my brother Dolls is asleep. How could that be? I sense shenanigans here, boy, boy. Yes. So it seems like we need to find something to presumably wake him up. But insert. <coughs> It's because I kind of enjoy using his face as a stepping stone, pretty much. Amazing, but I don't like him up doing that as well, isn't it, a eh? baby dolls? Another coin, but apparently we collected them all, and that's a very small cloud up above, isn't it? A rock which we need to jump over. Is there any way to interact with it? Because it seems rather curious. Having this big rock here in the middle of nowhere like this. The thing to do is, seems like the fall damage isn't in this game as well, even though we have health in the top right. Uh, a health bar, you could say, folks. Uh, a danger sign as well, or oh, dang. As danger is presumably colloquially known in Dizzy Games. And uh, I'm not gonna go down the hole which has the dang sign over it just yet because there were other ways that we could potentially go and, uh, and I can smell food cooking downstairs. It smells very nice indeed, folks. I'll take the ladder, the I mean the, the rope downward. Although uh, I can't actually scale it downward, can I? So um I'll try it seems to me that if I would come to the hole from this direction, the river was gonna be dangerous down there, and I could logically surmise that the platform where, which won't be dangerous, will be on the right side, since, you know, maybe the game makers would imagine us to be coming down into the hole from this left side, which meaning we'd fall down onto a right, onto the right side of the screen down there. But then again, if the game makes it particularly devious, he could have made it so that in order to make it hard, he could make it so that the danger would actually be down on the right side of the screen, down below, which would mean that if we were going to fall into down there, it would be safer to do it towards the left side, where I must not start st second guessing myself. Let's just take a risk, eh? It sure does seem like it'll be a better option than the pit with the danger sign over it after all. So I'll take the daring plunge now, folks. You see how far up we can climb this rope, by the way. Okay, let's go down now. Fortunately, those flaming torches didn't actually hurt me either. I'll go over here and collect this um, coin diamond thing. Like so. Seems we're just past the halfway mark now for the diamonds and coins, doesn't it? And seems like things are also getting adventurous here all of a sudden. With these highly conspicuous little stones on the ground which we can't seem to interact with. 
Oh, and another diamond. And uh, a spike pit down there too, which is easy to jump over, as you can see. Can't interact with the barrel down here, but we can jump onto it, curiously enough. This looks like it could be some kind of a rail track or something that we're on, doesn't it? Although I'm not seeing any kind of a track or train or anything at the moment. But now I'm seeing a lot. I'm seeing skeletons and skulls and all matter of other... Um, most menacing sights for that matter. Can't touch them, can't I? And collect them for that matter. Why would I want to collect it though? I'll carry it with me though, just in case. After all, who knows, it was going to be useful for a puzzle or something. And it has seen that these trampoline looking things don't actually work. So I'm guessing that gap up above uh, leads to that uh, danger hole that we saw in that screen just past where those years old are. Have we come far enough to get directly under that hole? Not quite sure, really. Although we are quite a way into this particular level, aren't we? Anyway, I'll be heading back to the rope and see if we can venture further down there. Could be a risk, but there's no danger sign, is there? So, yes. Wasn't dangerous at all. Not gonna try jumping into the wall without just that torch up above, even though presumably the torch will be harmless like the other ones were. The Minister Force, this trampoline was gonna propel me upward and I meant to jump, but pressed along the wrong key, hence my panic, Sunny Jim. More coins or diamonds, whatever the game calls them. I'm just checking to make sure I can't collect these trampoline-like things either. So we we'll almost got all the coins and it seems like now we have. And presumably the key that the, tr that the rats will give us is going to be what we used to open this door. This golden door over here, but I'll try interacting with it anyway, just to say, Dizzy, I need gold key to open this door, baby, and sadly I don't have a gold key, baby, woe is me, Sonny Jim, yeah, let's be heading back then, and, you know, something, um, even though Dozy's asleep, maybe I could somehow scare or jolt him awake. Jolt him awake with this key I'm carrying, with this skull I'm carrying. And as you can see, as you saw just then, I um, stunned myself by taking a rather rough landing, and yet I. Didn't, it didn't cause me fall damage, fortunately enough, as we didn't lose any health. So let's see what happens if we use the skull with Dozy. Oh, we even got a little shock sound there. Dizzy brother boy boy. Ah, it's skull boy boy. Thank you, Dizzy, for waking me up from my never-ending and seemingly interminable slumber, baby. Wait before you head off on your intrepid adventure, baby. I give you something of importance. Play, play. Black Materia? Dizzy, thank you, brother boy boy. What could this be, Dan? Seems like I can't talk to Dozy anymore either. Let's have a look at it. Can't really see anything. Uh, so not 
think anything at all for that matter. Oh, a little black ball to appear. Now I wonder what this could be used for. For a minute, uh, I was worrying there was something heavy metal sounding. As that kind of thing makes me anxious with me being a Christian, but seems like that isn't the case. Right. Right this. Right. Good. Good. Right. Give you good. Keep right. Right. Yes, yeah, so we've got to go key now so that we can head on the ground again. And open that rather conspicuous golden door that we saw before, can't we, eh, folks? Sounds like a splendid idea in order for us to progress. And all this of adventure here doesn't hurt. Open sesame, boy, boy. Dizzy. I need gold key to open this door, boy, boy. Yes, a victory sounder. Dizzy. Yeah, boy, boy. I'm open the door, boy, boy. Dizzy, door open, boy, boy. Aren't I clever, boy, boy? No, this isn't sinister now, eh? I'm not really sure he wants us to come in here to come across this dark wizard, eh? Still, we can jump up here without getting hurt by the flames. I need something magic here that doesn't sound good. Can we talk or get past this witch without getting hurt, or is it? I guess I'll put the rather sinister black material in here then. You see? Yeah, boy, boy. I'm kill wizard, boy, boy. But, um, what happened to diplomacy, eh? And she is quite a bit bigger than us. Oh, hey, hey. hey. <coughs> Your potion. <laughs> So, we still can't get past a wizard, but, um, who knows, maybe we've just uh, turned her to stone or something, and that's officially what killed her or him, maybe. Is he is it dead? Pray, pray, yes. But sure to come in handy. Seems like she, he was blocking us from getting the potion. And by turning him to stone or killing him, we managed to uh, get the help of potion. And now we can go back to um, Uncle Tom and cure him with it. Hey, but first. I'm curious, I want to see what's down the hole with the danger sign, you see, folks. You can't, I thought you can't blame the intrepid adventurer in me after all, so we... Oh, this just takes us down to that same room with the skeleton and the skull in it, doesn't it? I suppose that makes sense with how, um, in the original Dizzy game, um, skeletons and skulls were actually dangerous in that, so, um, I see how this game could maybe associate those rather sinister things with danger too. So off we go to cure Uncle Tom now. Illness, yes, while standing on his head. 
giving him even more of a headache because he looks particularly distressed. Oh, Tom needs heal potion, baby. Yes, more victory sounds. Oh, Tom. Dizzy. Thank you, boy, boy. Book, book, boy, boy. Oh, boy, boy. No, no, it feels like the world's ending, boy, boy. Oh, boy, boy. Dizzy. Oops. Uncle Tom. Changed a rather really and unpleasant, maybe bluish kind of a colour, indicating he is perhaps undergoing the phases and the ravages of rigor mortis, bray bray, as he experiences the throes, the tumultuous throes of death, bray bray. As he dies, a strange and sinister death. Boy, boy. Boy, boy. Greetings. You kill Uncle Tom. Boy, boy. Game complete. Boy, boy. So it seems like we accomplished some kind of great feat or something. It's a curious phenomenon indeed, boy, boy. And with that, the game shuts itself down automatically. So, that means we end our video now, doesn't it? And so, until next time, folks, I bid you all farewell. Goodbye.